that um, the pandemic has altered the original vision of the United Kingdom that Brexit was meant to achieve? The pandemic has altered everything. Uh, and cynically speaking, it's made it easier for the government to push through a hard Brexit uh, because in a sense, because all our attention is focused on the pandemic, there's far less attention focused on the difficulties that that hard Brexit is causing for us at ports, airports, wherever, when it comes to trade. Now, it hasn't prevented those things from arising. In fact, one of the interesting things about the pandemic is it, it delays some of the Brexit impacts. So there's very little in the Brexit deal about services, but we haven't really run into headlong into the problem with services yet because all those architects and lawyers or indeed academics who might in the past have been traveling to continental Europe to give lectures or design buildings or whatever it is that lawyers do uh, aren't doing that anymore so we haven't actually experienced the full extent of the disruption that Brexit will cause people in the services sector as yet so it, it's changed the calculation it's also probably given a bit of cover to the government over the economic impact of Brexit, because in the short term, that will get swamped by the economic impact of COVID. Uh, but, and it's right. a big but, over the medium term, the economic impact of Brexit on the economy will be significantly more severe than the economic impact of COVID. Right.